Man. Da din din da, din din da, da din din da, din din da, din 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 Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction scene. It's a Corbin. I do that when I'm alone sometimes. And you can follow us on Instagram, Instagram Twitter. Twitter. Mark Juicy Comp. It's so juicy. Follow us for the Cat Me Belt and Squad. Bang! Also our personal YouTube channel. Link's right down there for you. Today we're doing some stand-up. Beer Dust. Yay. He just released this a few days ago. <laughs> it's called Winning the American Election. I had a feeling it would be about that. Uh, this was before it was called. Uh, it has been called for Biden. So regardless of what the orange man's telling you. Joe Biden will be the next president. It's, but yeah. I think this was done before uh, it was called. But after election day. So after, while we were in process. While we were counting. Okay. So I'm assuming it's going to be about that whole debacle. It'll be the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. 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 Nevada taking yeah, until bless, 2022 to... Bless you beautiful stupid babies who do follow on Instagram and Twitter. You know, if, that, if you want to interact... Especially with me, guys, I was giving videos on explaining the Electoral College and why it was taking as long as it was. I was on Instagram Live when the decision of Biden being president-elect came down. So there's juicy content over there, guys. <laughs> yeah, and I tell Trump to do stuff over there. I, I do uh, too, but he's a little bit more... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, raw. But uh, I was looking forward to this because obviously Beer Dallas is hilarious. Mm -hmm. uh, so here we go. So Counting taking so long. <laughs> we watched white people count so intently, they were counting us. <laughs> they were like 268, 269, 270 slaves on the ship. Here we go. <laughs> Why is the counting taking so long? Outsource that shit to us, man. We'll, count, we'll give you a present in 45 minutes. I promise you. And then I think, fuck, we will change your plan in 45 minutes. <laughs> Present to a new plan. Like, you give us 10 future candidates and their place of birth and their time of birth. <laughs> we will tell you who's going to be president. <laughs> Kamala Ka Ketu is very strong, but her Rahu is weak. <laughs> it feels like such, a, such an inefficient system, their election. Can we agree? Yeah? It's like it's so college, yeah. to declare the winner after the election. <laughs> That's why I like it here. We know who's going to win way before the election, right? We don't wait around for a whole party election because in India, we don't declare the winner of an election. We abandon the loser. <laughs> Because it's a parliamentary system. So halfway through the election, people recognize that the guy's gonna lose and they're like, I'm sorry, Rahul. And they start jumping shit. <laughs> In America, they waste all this time. They have to come up with all these slogans and it just feels like such a waste of time. Like Trump's slogan is uh, fucking make America great again. You know, uh, Biden's slogan is who am I? How did I get here? <laughs> <laughs> Do you understand with slogans? No. Do you know what Narendra Modi's slogan is? Modi. That's how he won an election in the largest democracy in the world. He went to people and said, hey, Modi. Then I don't think Modi. Okay. Remember. I think the, the big sort of scary takeaway for me in this election, and a lot of the media was talking about it as well, is that not just white people voted for Donald Trump. That's the big trip on this. You know what I'm talking about? Immigrants, minorities voted for Donald Trump, and that's what's shocking in America. Florida. But I kind of get it, if I'm being honest, because you know, like Mike Pence looks like white people designed a white guy. Mike Pence. <laughs> Donald Trump looks like four immigrants designed a white guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, four immigrants has gone in the room to make a white guy, and the Indian was first. He's like, okay, it will make him tall and fat. <laughs> It will look prosperous. <laughs> and then a Mexican was like, I want him to look exotic and like sun kissed man. Like he just came off a beach, you know? <laughs> like a beach of a private island owned by a sexual predator. <laughs> <laughs> much? And then an African was like, I want you to have small heads. <laughs> I want you to have a mouth so small. When he sips from a straw, it should look like he's drinking from a glass. <laughs> <laughs> and then the Russian walked by like, I will tell him what to say, don't worry. <laughs> Funny. I was 
thinking about this. Like, you know, it, it is easy to be mean to America in this moment. It is. And don't we enjoy it just a little bit? We do. Because, you know, America was like the hot girl who was mean to everybody in high school. <laughs> and she, she just, she was just her and her two other hot friends, Britain and Europe, and they were just bitches to everybody <laughs> in high school. You know, they'd take all your money, they'd never let you into their party, but then they'd show up to your house and clean out your basement, whatever was underground, they'd take it. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> You know, and then they'd hook up with your friends and you'd never see your friends again. You'd be sitting at lunch like, where's Saudi? <laughs> and Saudi's like, no, I cannot be seen with you anymore, I'm with America. <laughs> and then Saudi would be back like a month later, she was just using me. And you'd be like, hey man, forgive and forget. And he's like, yeah, sure. He doesn't forget. <laughs> You know, and then you, you graduated from high school and you didn't hear from America for a while, but you heard like she had a series of bad relationships, nobody knew where she was. And you heard that Britain and Europe got married, but that didn't work out. <laughs> they, got divorced, and they were separated and going to get divorced, but there was like a custody battle and they were talking and with both of them. <laughs> so it could be a thing, nobody was leaving on time. And, and, and then like one day you were walking down the street. You know, and then suddenly from behind you, you heard rest of the world from high school and you turned around and you were like, America? And she just let herself go. You know? <laughs> and in that moment, you, you looked at her and you were like, this, you know, what's going on in your life? And she's like, oh, it's tough, you know, I, I don't have any money and, and, you know, it's been a tough sort of 20 years and I work in a Chinese restaurant. <laughs> My boss is really hard on me, he doesn't pay me that much. <laughs> And you started to feel sad for her, you know? And then while she was talking to you, suddenly this guy came up from behind and just grabbed her. <laughs> and you're like, America, are you okay? And she's like, oh, that's my husband. It's fine. Oh, and you're like, are you sure? And she's like, yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. I swear to God, I'm fine. And she left and you felt bad in your heart. And then four years later, you were like on her Facebook profile and you heard she was single again. She broke up with the guy. She dumped him, not even in person, she wrote him a letter, like through the postal system she dumped him. <laughs> and she was feeling like an older guy and he wasn't fully coherent, but like your third cousin knew him, they worked together. And she gave him a good recommendation. <laughs> and in that moment you were like, you know what, good for you America. Good for you, you took your life back together. I wish you well. And you put your Facebook off. And in the reflection of your laptop, you saw somebody standing behind you. And it was your partner. And they were like, what the fuck are you looking at? Like, nothing baby, they're like, are you looking at America? Don't get any fucking ideas in your head, alright? I'm the best you can do, I'm all you deserve. And you're like, baby, I have questions, fuck you, you don't get to ask me any questions. <laughs> you don't have any questions for me, you go live in the neighbor's house, alright? You go ask him fucking questions. And you're like, I don't want to live in the neighbor's house, he plays nice music but he scares me. <laughs> alright? Now you shut the fuck up, this is where you live. Now you get in the kitchen and make me a cup of GST, that's what you fucking do. And that's, you just in the kitchen, thinking, fuck, I should leave, but this is my house. I live here, I own this place. I still feel like leaving. And that's democracy. <laughs> <laughs> so when I see America, I have hope. Like, fucking Trump's speech two days ago, he was speaking and then five major networks cut Trump off in the middle of his speech. Did you see that? Yep, that's I fucking, did. that's hope, that's power. I cannot think of one Indian journalist. <laughs> He's so smart. Like, yeah. in ter like th that whole thing about, like he wasn't saying certain names or certain countries or certain people right you knew exactly who you knew he was exactly who he's referring to talking about he's so smart yeah uh and yeah that's that's what america is right now yeah and if you want to know why it took so long go to my instagram i talk about it on a live and it's on my feed <laughs> except nevada we have no idea they just it's a great i saw a great picture it said here's nevada right now and it was it like it showed this person said Nevada and like the rest of the world was watching and it was Britney in a concert. She's got her back to the camera and then all she does is this. She just goes. 
Like everybody's watching. I know everybody's watching. It's so funny. <laughs> yeah, they take. We have no idea. Like everybody else, we, we kind of get. But Nevada was like, oh, we've counted a five today. We're yeah, good. no, <laughs> it's true. It, everybody else, we get. Pennsylvania, we know because Republicans didn't want to count to start until election day, so they yeah. couldn't even start counting till election day. Yeah. We know about the processes, and again, I posted it on my Instagram, and there's stuff that happens and the way that they do it, and they get the tallies and they put it in a server, yada yada yada. Nevada's a mystery. <laughs> I mean, they, it's called now, but like at the time it was like, why are they going? They're so like, slow? Oh, we'll announce it tomorrow at 10 a.m. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. They We're kept going to bed. Us, they kept giving dates. And I'd see Chuck Todd on NBC saying, Nevada's telling us at 4 a.m. tomorrow. And then you'd turn on the TV at 8. We still don't have any new numbers from Nevada. They're telling us that maybe by the end of the day today. They were all drunk. They were gambling. They were, yeah, that's uh, true. You got to give them a break. <laughs> but yeah, I, yeah, he's so smart. And uh, that's one of the best things when we talk to him and in any, everything we ever watch, he's, he is very intelligent comedy. Yeah. It's, and that's hard to find. Yeah. Like most aren't like in terms of comedians, it's, they, I mean, everybody has their own, their own shtick, but intelligent comedy is mm -hmm. like one more difficult mm -hmm. because one, you have to assume your audience is also intelligent. Correct. Um, as opposed to others who are still hilarious, but yeah. you don't have to be intelligent. Like, no, and you run, dumb humor. You run a big risk mm -hmm. because when you do intelligent humor, it might just fall short because people didn't get it. Yeah. You know, you could be doing an inside joke that you are pretty sure they're going to get, and if they haven't been paying attention to what's going on in the world, they're not going to know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. So, and, and the other thing I love about him is he's just ballsy. He, yeah, he doesn't care. Yeah. He'll just say it. Yeah, uh, it's he's a he's a very uh, it's uh, it's not a surprise he's so popular here. Yeah, because he's very much like comedians in America. He should be more popular. He really should. Like he should. Cause there's, who's that? Who's that one Indian? Uh, he has like his own show. Oh, Han uh, starts with an H, right? Um, oh crap, Hansel or something like that. Or I see his face. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, he, I think Veerdos is funnier than that guy. I mean, that guy's pretty funny as well, but I think Veerdos is funnier than that guy. So I think he, but obviously that guy was also doing a show as well. Yeah. So I don't, that's I'm not different. sure that's like, I think Veerdos could do a show like, like, um, The Daily Show or I think oh, he, he absolutely I think could he would be very good at that. Absolutely. He could. Yeah. He could he be absolutely like could. a John Oliver or, yeah. or, or a, whatever, to, um, who's the other guy? John Oliver. Uh, no, um, no, I mean, um, I, yeah, um. Now that you said John Oliver. No, not John Oliver. But he I could know. be John Oliver. Um, no, he could have his own news. Stephen Colbert. Yes. And, and the other guy. Um, yes. What's his name? From uh, Comedy Central. He was before Trevor Noah. And, uh, um, right. Who Trevor Noah is another one. Yeah. He could do a show like Trevor yeah, Noah. Yeah. Why am I forgetting? I see him. I, I what, Sean Hayes came into my head. I don't know why. No, it's not him. I don't know if I know that. But if you're also looking for really spectacular biting... John Stewart! John Stewart. Really biting, politically, right on target, saying truths that hurt and are funny, do yourself a favor and watch the most recent and then watch the other ones, Netflix special of Dave Chappelle. Mm. Yeah. Let us know more stand-up we can react to down below. Da <laughs> <laughs>